Yeah, this has been a pretty huge disruption for sure. And, um, you know, a lot of the disruption has to do with labor. So uh, can you get those folks to work? Can you get your management to work? Um, supply chain is a field that's typically been relatively uh, thin um, in that regard. We're always looking for people, whether it's the trucking industry or management, uh, there's always spots to be filled. So if you buy out two weeks of toilet paper, it takes them uh, a significant amount of time to get it back in place. So trying to find short-term suppliers that can fill that gap uh, is a big goal. Uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge. Uh, trying to find people that potentially are out of work, that can work and fill in some of those holes uh, is also important as well. We do a lot of sourcing from China. Over the years, we've done a lot of outsourcing, uh, moving manufacturers outside of the United States and, and really outside of the region. So a lot of that product moved to China initially because it was less expensive and they're still pretty solid at manufacturing across the board. So uh, moving that product over there was cost-based. As things began to change with the economy, we started to move some product manufacturing out of China, partially because of cost.